all right a very good evening to all of you now the audio might be a little noisy so kindly bear with it because i don't have the proper setup with me right now now today the provisional answer key was released for csi net december 2019 and there are a few questions for which the answers that are given are debatable but there is one short short question for which the answer is incorrect so for that i'm going to just give you the references so that you can challenge the answer key all right now there are other questions like i said so please uh, let me know in the comment section which questions uh, do you think uh, like the answers for which questions do you think are given incorrectly and then we can uh, discuss and you know come out on a conclusion whether it will be appropriate to challenge the answer for that particular question or not or if we can actually find good references to back our particular claim all right so the question that i am talking about right now for which we have proper references and proper like claim we can claim on those uh, claim on that particular answer is the cluster question so in the answer key it is given that both the clusters are nato but in the one of the options it was like uh, in the cluster question this particular cluster was given to us okay and for this particular cluster it is given in the answer key as nato but in reality it is closed so the answer would be second option that is nato and closed okay and this is the reference you can see this is a Uh, chapter uh, it is in one of the very very good um, like very very good publishers springer and here they have mentioned that the clusters this particular cluster co6 co13 c2 minus and co6 co13 n minus are both closed octahedral cages okay so they both are closed octahedral cages and if you want to see the reference uh, this is actually written by one of the very famous authors so it is actually written by catherine catherine housecroft for which you might be aware that there is a very very famous book also named housecroft so it is written by this particular author this particular book chapter okay and even there is one article that was published in 2018 in international journal of chemistry i think it is published it is a uh, canada canada based publisher and here also if you see the structure co6 co13 n minus if you see serial number 11 it is mentioned as 14 n plus 2 eight total number of electrons 86 it is mentioned as close over here classification is given as close over okay so it is definitely close over you, you can even in housecroft book also the total valence electrons comes out to be 86 and it is given that the nitrogen is a interstitial atom so if you do and if you put n equal to 6 over here those are the core like if you put the, the number of metals that is 6 since nitrogen is interstitial so you don't have to count that as a what is so if you count the 6 uh, cobalt so 14 into 6 this makes it um 84 so 84 plus 2 that will comes 14 and plus 2 is definitely for closer so from here also you can see it is coming out to be closer okay right um so how can you see this reference articles i just show it to you on chrome so this is a springer um article clusters with interstitial atoms from p block how do weights rules handle them and it is written by catherine housecroft in 2005 Okay, so you can cite this particular article, and how you can cite is you can give the page number also. So I'll just tell you the page number. So if I think if you go to page number eleven over here, eleven or twelve, I think one of them. No, it's on twelve. So if you go to page number twelve, on page number twelve in that particular article, um, yeah, page number twelve. I think if you go down, you will find it in the last line. Okay, on page number twelve, if you go to the last line. I don't even have my mouse with me right now. So in the you can see in this particular line, it is given clearly it is a closed structure, and they have given a back reference also. So if you go to the back reference, if you want, you can cite the back reference also, though it is not necessary. Okay, and uh, these PDFs, if you are not able to access these PDFs, uh, there is a Facebook group with the name Reagent Blues. Okay, I am admin of that particular group. So in that particular group, I will post these PDFs, so you can download those PDFs. from the reagent blues facebook group also okay so i will upload these pdfs over there as well and in case you have the access to these articles then this is the article clusters with interstitial atoms from p block how to weights rules handles them on this if you go to page number 12 you will find that particular reference okay and uh, the second one that i was talking about if you just type the caption of this second one um, i will just show you the the um, what do you call the heading of this particular article it is um, graph theory of chemical series and broad categorization of clusters okay so this is published by canadian center of science and education 
okay and the journal name is international journal of chemistry it's not very reputed but it's also a reference okay so um you can just uh, go to page number 52 in this particular case and you will find it if you this is actually uh, easily available like you won't even have to have the access to this particular article you can just type the this particular caption or this particular topic in uh, in google and you will get the access to this article okay so you don't need any special permissions for that for the springer article you would need the permissions okay but anyhow i'll upload the pdf of that all right on that particular group like i just mentioned and then if you want to add the back reference also this is the paper that was published in 1986 where it is clearly mentioned that this one over here is a octahedral structure and it's closed wave structure uh, it's closed wave nature so it's synthesis and x-ray characterization this is a very well reputed journal from ncwr that is journal of organometallic chemistry in the year 1986 um, like i was telling you in the springer article there was a back reference so this is the back reference so here they have done the crystal characterization using x like single crystal xrd and they have uh, you know given the cluster type for this particular molecule co6 and co30 minus so using these three references i think it's good enough using one reference also it's good enough it, but it's better that you can back your claim with many more references so these are the three references that you can use and you can uh, claim this particular a uh, question like you can claim that particular answer that it is nido closer and not nido nido as given in the provisional answer key secondly there is a doubt among students who are saying that you know some of some of them have marked two options so there was an error from, from nta like from nta's side as well that you could mark multiple options okay so that if you are like if you are not paying attention if you mark option number a as the answer then you later on you change it to b and if you don't clear the response then one and two both get marked like that it is happening so that this is an error from the nta website nta side as well but you know you can't get marks for that that i'm pretty sure the only thing that you can request nta or you can add a query and ask is that that question should not be evaluated because it is an error from your side also and it is an error from nta side also so the best thing that you could ask for ask them is to not to evaluate the answer so that you don't get negative okay and i think that is the right way to do um, they should not evaluate the answer at all okay but you won't get marks for that that i'm pretty much sure about that if the answer is one and you mark both one and two um obviously it will not be considered as a correct answer so either it will not be well evaluated or you'll get negative but that will be harsh because it is an error from their side as well they should not have the option that is where you can choose multiple answers so definitely in the omr sheet also like before when we had the offline exam if you used to mark multiple options then it did not used to evaluate like it was the quite the answer was not evaluated so i think similar strategy should be used here but you definitely will have to put up a query and ask them as to what will be the uh, like what will be the fate of that particular question whether it will not be evaluated or whether you'll be given negative and if they say that you'll be given negative then you can make a request that they should not be evaluated all right so uh, anyway so if there are any other questions which you feel should be challenged or which you feel for which the answer is incorrect let me know in the comment section and all the very best for the results thank you